90.1 WECS, something different. All right. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, please let me introduce to you Molly Pardon. Hello, Molly. Hello. It's great to have you here in the studio. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, let me, I always forget to turn on the video. There we go. Now we're, now we're official. Now we're official. Hello. <laughs> I'm Molly. Um, so, Molly, I just heard about you recently, and I think it was Weather it was the first song I heard, and I just fell in love with the music and, and this, your style. Um, so let me give everybody a little background. I guess you're originally from Georgia, right? Yes, grew up you in Georgia. You were recently living in Nashville, which is a great place for someone with your talent, and, and you recently uh, moved up to Western New England, right? Yes, Western Massachusetts. I saw somewhere you were also you sometimes play bass with Darling Side, which is also based in Massachusetts somewhere, right? Yes, so, I just did that for a few shows this week. Oh, cool! Is that, is that part of the reason why you moved up here? It is actually. Yeah. Excellent. Well, thank you to Darling Side for recruiting you, because <laughs> yes. now we can hear your music as well. Yes, thank you, Darling Side. <laughs> Some, I mean, sometimes all it takes to get my attention is, is a good song title. And that was another thing I noticed ab about you is I really love the song title, Who Did You Leave For Me? Instantly elicits a desire to learn more. Mm. <laughs> Can you tell me a little bit what led you to uh, write that song? Yes. Um, a um, crippling heartache led me to write that song. I was in the dregs of um, recovering from the loss of a relationship. And I just found myself um, mindlessly wandering around a park that I would frequent in Nashville. And uh, I just kind of started thinking about the lyrics to this song, like the first verse, what is today? What is my name? Um, thinking about someone who is like kind of walking around blindly, just stumbling through life, trying to get her bearings. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, the, the only questions I could think of were, who did you leave me for? And who did you leave for me? Yeah, it, it, makes, it makes you go, hmm, because it's things you probably, most people don't think about until you're in a situation where you're in, in after a breakup and then you start thinking your mind wanders and you're always wondering it's yeah. completely natural yeah um let, you know what let's do a song okay you've got your guitar here might as well use it is that I, I was I saw something on the internet. Uh, one of the interviews you did, uh, you were talking about you had an old vintage guitar and you had to have a, a pickup installed on it because it was just an acoustic guitar. Is mm -hmm. this the one or this is the one? Oh, cool! Yeah, it looks beautiful. Gibson LG one from 1965. All I did was uh, have a LR Bags M1 Audio installed in it, and it's that's truly the only work that was done to it, and it's been this way for about 12 years. Oh, nice. I was very lucky when I found this on eBay. I think the man's name was Mike that sold it to me. <laughs> Mike in Columbus. So what do you um, want to, um, what do you want to start off with? Well, um, maybe I'll, uh, I don't know, I'm, I kind of want to play one of my new ones, but also want to play one of the old ones. Like, We've got the rest of the hour. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll play that the, the song we were just talking about, Who Did You Leave For Me? Perfect.
what is today? What is my name? And where is all the time gone? Just yesterday, I could proudly say that I knew right where I belonged. I cannot see why this troubles me. There is real love all around. When can I be free? When does the sadness leave? When will what I lost be found? That, uh, yeah, it's touching. Um, I think we can all think back to a time we were probably in a similar situation. Uh, Molly Pardon here in the studio here at WECS. Something different. So, Nashville. Is it, um, is it really competitive down there? If you want it to be. <laughs> if you want to do well, right? If you want to get somewhere or... Um, if you see it as competitive, then you will find it to be competitive. Mm -hmm. Do you find... I mean, I've also heard stories of people where, you know, there's a lot of collaboration as well. If you see it as collaborative, <laughs> you will find it as collaborative. So how, how, was, how was your experience? It was beautiful. It was very challenging, very collaborative very rewarding very fruitful uh i just found all of the best people down there oh good became friends with them made them be friends with me <laughs> <laughs> and i made them let me sing on their records <laughs> yeah and that's how i know almost everybody in nashville <laughs> oh cool yeah did, did you ever run into gracie day no she was there for a little while. So somebody who's been here. Um, so look, we're going to take a quick break. Um, I have to stop my rec video recorder. We'll be right back with uh, more with Molly Pardon right here at WECS. Hi, this is Paul and Diane with Acoustical, one of a kind live music in Bristol, Connecticut. And you're listening to Something Different with Mark E. Ramon. Ninety point one W E C S something different. Stay tuned in uh, just a little bit. This clock doesn't work. Forty five minutes from now, uh, the New Music Alliance Radio Hour featuring original local music from Western New England and that's Southern Vermont, down through Western Mass, right into our lovely nutmeg state of Connecticut. Uh, stay tuned. Um, 
I did the playlist this week, and I'm joined by Violet Hosthor, and I'll give you, I'll give the inside scoop. One of the songs is by Molly Pardon. <laughs> so, and um, maybe she'll do it here for you live. Who knows? Maybe, maybe or not. Oh, well, let me turn your mic on. Sorry. Check, check. <laughs> check, check. Um, yeah, I did weather. Oh, thank you. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that song and what what it's about? Is it about the weather? Sure. <laughs> um, it's almost almost definitely not about the weather. Um, <laughs> it's sort of a it's like a, a marriage of three song ideas that were all clinking around in my music brain, um, and none of them were very. Yeah, I just, I was like holding on to all three of these ideas until finally I blended them all together. Um, so it's sort of about not understanding depression. Mm-hmm. Um, I I grew up with the mentality that you can just kind of wish away your, your sadness and um, just not pay attention to it and it'll go away. Um, So I tried to make um, the people around me do that, too, (laughs) or I expected that of them. And so this song was a little bit about um, me thinking that I would never be able to understand why someone was sad and why Mm -hmm. someone couldn't uh, couldn't just like stop being sad. Yeah, it's it's a it's a definitely a, a pressing issue. It always has been. And I think just in the past few years, it's become more. A lot of people are more open about talking about mental health issues, and including depression. So it, I think the more we talk about it, it, the better chance we have of avoiding or you know, dealing with it and not being succumbed to it. Yeah, I, I think much differently about um, mental health issues now. <laughs> Good. Yeah. We all should. Yeah. Uh, it's, just, uh, it's funny because it's like, well, it's not funny. Um when I, I listened to your song, Weather, and I didn't really listen to the lyrics as much, I feel guilty now because I want, I'm definitely going to go back and listen to the lyrics. Just like when I first heard it, I was listening to the melody, and I got this sense of like it had a familiar, familiarity to it, and I couldn't quite pinpoint it, like going back to the 80s or something. Hmm. Do, do you have... um? Any influences that in, inspired you overall? Maybe not just the song, but overall. Do you have any uh, influences from the 80s? Oh, from the 80s. Um, well, yes, maybe indirectly. Um, I haven't listened to a lot of 80s music until the last couple of years. Um, but, you know, like the, the people that I have listened to, I'm sure were influenced by 80s music, so... It's uh, you know a domino effect of sorts. Yep. Um, but um, I, that song in particular, whether I always thought of like a, the war on drugs meeting Kathleen Edwards for breakfast, and this is the song that they wrote by lunchtime. Who is Kathleen Edwards? Oh man, she's one of my favorite songwriters um, from Ottawa, I think, uh, somewhere in Canada. The Canadians really, they know how to write the songs cool (laughs) if i've said it once i've said it a million times i want to i'll have to look her up next incredible but my favorite album of hers is asking for flowers cool it's from 2006 excellent and speaking of albums you've got a new one coming up right i do yeah i worked on an album in nashville for about three years with my friend micah talks who produced it and uh we started i started putting out singles from the record uh, back in April. So I put out one a month. So I uh, just released the fourth one in July. And then I've got another one coming out August 17th. Oh, cool. And the whole album will be out October 13th. Did you do, um, and what's the name of the, the album? You know, I haven't even released the album name yet. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You could you can you can release it here. It could be exclusive here. W E C S. No. I could. I think I will. You ready for it? Go for it. The album is called Sacramented. Hmm. 
Is there is there uh, a lot of thought put into that, or are you just pulling a word out of the sky? <laughs> there is a lot of thought put into it. Yes. Is it related to the, the, the songs too? They. That is that is that there is a song called that. Oh okay. Yeah. Good. So I decided to call the album that. Excellent. Yeah. Um, the theme of um, a sacrament, like a sacred or holy act. Um, is uh, something that I've uh, meditated on mm -hmm. a lot, and I feel like this album is that. Oh, yeah. Did and like music in general is that is a, a sacrament. For me, that's my my church is music, the music halls and the the dive bars and all the little venues of where I listen to live music. Yeah, yeah. Did I, were you raised on um, any particular religion or? Yes, I was raised uh, Pentecostal, like an uh, evangelical Christian. Mm -hmm. And when I became an adult, I um, was drawn more to um, like the Anglican tradition of Christianity. And um, so I've kind of stayed in the Anglican, like Episcopal vein of things. Um, yeah, I, I haven't been to church in probably a year and a half. But um, well, that's not true. I went on Easter. Sorry, <laughs> um, but I, uh, it's, I just, I find God everywhere. And so it's interesting that I don't necessarily need a, a church to find God every week. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to do uh, one of the songs from the new album? I would love to. Cool. Any requests? Sacrament. You know, I haven't released that one yet, so I'm not going to put <laughs> oh, that one. That's right. Oh, but that's thank right. you. <laughs> oh, that's right. You did. You did cigarette algorithm. Um, mm -hmm. I'll do cigarette. Yeah. Yeah. That's, like that, that was one. the first one I released. I like that one. Cool. Thank you for your request. <laughs> Watching my skin grow back I dreamt of a heart attack You were gonna be my man My granddaddy's green, I'm a knight My mind is a back I bet you want a cigarette I miss you and I want to go
Thank you. Uh, that was Cigarette, right? That was Cigarette by Molly Parton. By Molly Parton right here at WZS. Um, we'll be right back with more Molly Parton right after these messages. Hi, this is Paul and Diane with Acoustical, one-of-a-kind live music in Bristol, Connecticut. And you're listening to Something Different with Mark E. Ramon. But it's cool. And we're cool because we have Molly Parton here in the studio. Uh, W-E-C-S. Uh, acoustical. I was going to say, we were just talking off the air, and I was going to say how I, I first heard of Molly Parton. And Paul um, Wallen, who is, one of, Paul and Diane are the hosts of Acoustical. It's a house concert in Bristol, Connecticut. And... Paul was doing some uh, New Music Alliance shows uh, as, a, as a host, and he had to take some time off, so he gave me his list of artists he wanted to play on the show, on the New Music Alliance, and Molly Pardon was on that list, and I'm like, let me look this artist up, and that's when I heard the song Weather, and I'm like, oh, I got to play her on the show. So, yeah, um... So you've heard of Acoustical? Yes, we met at the Parlor Room in Northampton um, at a show. I'll think of who it was in a second. <laughs> oh, well, it wasn't your show? <laughs> no, it wasn't. I was I was there to see um, Anna Tibble. Oh, she was yeah. amazing. Cool. That's the Parlor Room is a great place to see a show. Yes. Very intimate setting. It's like the size of this studio. <laughs> yeah, just about. Yeah, up there in Northampton. It's beautiful. Yeah. I saw um, Ray Zaragoza there it, uh, like a year before the pandemic, and I just saw her at the Newport Folk Festival last weekend, and it was it was so cool to see her progress, and she's doing re- really well. Um, That's great. Yeah. Um, so Acoustical. Um, that's where, in a, in a, in a long way, <laughs> that was the connection. Cool. So, um, I'm trying to figure out, there was something w- written about you that it really caught my eye and I wanted to read it for everybody because I think, I think it was, it speaks perfectly, um, it seems like about who you are. Hmm. It's right on your webpage from uh, James McFedridge Wilson. I, I want to read this for everybody. That's okay. all. For all its unapproachable beauty, the heart of Molly's music is humble and profoundly human. They are songs that remind us that heartbreak isn't simply another marketable human emotion, but is more like a familiar place, a sacred space within all of us. We are all born with a deep sense of loss, and great art has a way of articulating our personal tragedies, both the ones we're born into and the ones we write and direct ourselves. It makes listening to Rosemary feel like falling into a dream or a distant memory, a beautiful reminder of something we've known all along. And that, again, was James McFedridge Wilson. Is, is that is he a friend of yours or? Yes, oh, okay. a really close friend who so, knows me very well. I was gonna say you must know you really well, because <laughs> it, 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 yeah, that really I liked what he said. Me too. He's he's a brilliant writer. He's studying in uh, Cambridge University right now, so you should you all should read anything that he ever publishes. Oh, cool. He's in a band called Sons of Bill. Sons um, of Bill. Sons of Bill from Charlottesville, Virginia. Oh, cool. And um, they have. Four, at least four incredible records. Um, and yeah, he's one of my dearest friends. Oh, did you meet him down in Nashville? Yeah, when we both lived in Nashville. Cool. Yeah. Um, Tenacious Twine is the acoustic version of one of your songs, right? Yeah, Tenuous Twine is the um, piano ballad version of Bolting Volts. Bolting um, and it's uh, I gave it a totally different name because it 
feels like a totally different song. Um, I, I was going to ask you why, and that that makes sense. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I recorded Bolting Volts back in 2017 uh, when I made a when I made my record Rosemary that I eventually split into two EPs because of the pandemic. It didn't it didn't make sense to me to release a full length if I couldn't tour on it. So I decided to release two smaller bodies of work so that I could have more things to release. Um, anyways, Rosemary was a 10 song um, album that I made with two other dear friends, Juan Solorzano and uh, Zachary Dyke. We made it in Nashville and Bolting Volts was one of the last songs we recorded. It almost didn't make the record, but hmm. we had about, we had nine songs recorded and I brought this one song to Juan and when I played it, I played it on acoustic and it was just, you know, my vocal on acoustic and Juan loved it. But when I wrote it, I wrote it on piano. Ah. I, I love to um, let a vocal melody mirror um, either a guitar or piano melody. So that was the case um, on piano. So, I, yeah, I released a full band version of, of the song and I called it Bolting Volts. And then I've always wanted to do a piano version, an alternate version of the song. So last year I teamed up with my uh, friend Tony Anderson in Los Angeles, and uh, we enlisted the help of Amanda Lindsay Cook, who played piano, and I just I sang as she played piano, and we recorded it in probably 10 minutes. Wow. It was so special. So when you're out on tour, like you're going on in a couple of weeks, um, do you mostly just play by yourself? Yes, mostly when I'm on tour, I am opening for another band. Mm -hmm. And um, mostly I am singing in that band um, and like acting as their support act mm -hmm. and their harmony vocalist. Um, but this time is different. Um, and that has kind of been my experience for the last decade of touring. So this time I am headlining um, two weeks worth of shows on the East Coast oh, cool. of America. And I am bringing a full band to play my songs with me. Oh, wow. So, yeah, we start in Richmond on August 15th. And um, we dip down to Atlanta and then uh, up all the way up to New York City on August 27th. Excellent. Yeah. Oh, wow. So this must be exciting then. It is exciting. I'm very nervous. <laughs> I, I have a few very crucial details to um, figure out. But I'm trying to like psych myself up. I mm -hmm. told myself I am determined to get excited this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Are you going to hop in the proverbial uh, van and <laughs> drive all the way down and do all these shows? I'm going to hop in the proverbial plane. Oh, and let the plane drop me off in Nashville and yeah. then hop in a van. There you go. In Nashville, which is where most of my band is. Um, Andrew, Gusty, and Josh all live in Nashville. And then Denny is flying from L.A. Um, to meet us in Nashville. And that's where I will rent the van. Mm -hmm. and we'll drive to Richmond. Start the tour. Cool. Yeah. Many safe miles ahead of you. Thank you. Um, do you want to do another new song? Yes. I want to promote this new album that uh, you just heard about here first. Yeah. Um, this song is called Dandy Blend. I put it out in July.
try to forget I might as well pretend that it was only a dream Beautiful dream Dusty window pane Then life is making you stray No Dandy blend. Is, is that like a southern term for a drink or something? It's not. It's an herb, It's an instant herbal beverage that's a um, gluten-free, dairy-free alternative to coffee. It's a ah. gas station coffee, if I'm being honest. <laughs> you going to bring some along on the tour van? As long as I have a little bit of honey to put in it. There you fine. go. <laughs> 90.1 WECS. We've got a Molly Pardon right here in the studio. We're going to be right back after these messages. Hi, this is Paul and Diane with Acoustical, one of a kind live music in Bristol, Connecticut. And you're listening to Something Different with Mark E. Ramon. But it's cool. cool. 90.1 WECS, something different. Welcome back, and um, welcome back, Molly Pardon, here live in the studio. I was watching a, um, a tutorial you were doing for one of your songs, and you were wearing a Testament T-shirt, and then I, I noticed uh, one of your shirts on, on your merch um, the, it has... The, it says Molly Pardon at the top, but it, it's like in the font of Iron Maiden, right? You're right to notice both of those things. I I, I like these things. Do you um, do you listen to a lot of metal or? I sure don't. <laughs> but um, you know, I dated a guy that was a metalhead, and um, when so that was his shirt that I was wearing, the Testament shirt, and um, one summer when I was. 
trying to figure out what kind of merch to put together. You know, horses have just been my theme. Um, so he said, you know, Maul, um, you have a lot of the same letters as Iron Maiden. Why don't you just, you, like, do a metal T? So I just did a quick Google search, Iron Maiden font, and sure enough, it's it's free and downloadable. So I downloaded it and and yada, 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 I popped like it, it on a shirt. <laughs> it looks really cool. Thank you. Everybody should go to, what's your website? My website is mollypardon.com. Easy, easy to remember. Yeah, there's a, t- there's a merch tab and it will take you over to my band camp. And that is where the clerk is that will sell you um, a shirt or a tote bag, which I brought you a tote bag. <gasps> you want to see it? Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it says Molly Pardon, and it's got a horse. Oh, that it's is so cool. It's got a horse. My name is scrawled in the main. This was uh, drawn by Rachel Briggs, who is a friend of mine in Nashville, and um, it's for you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you this for is, coming down here. Yeah, this this will be on sale on my tour that I uh, will embark on in a couple of weeks. And the, the Molly Pardon Iron Maiden shirts will also be on tour with me. So Awesome. Yeah. So you're also going to be in uh, Boston and New York, right? Yeah, I am. Yeah. It can, I'm just going to uh, rattle off the cities real yeah. quick. Um, I'll be in Richmond, uh, Carborough, Atlanta, Asheville, Nashville, D.C., Philly, Cambridge, and New York. And the New York City show is is my last one. I'm bringing my friends um, Denny and Andrew Goldring along to open the shows. They're going to alternate opening every other night. But for the New York City show, um, everyone is playing. Denny and Andrew will both play a set. Oh, I'm cool. so excited. That's awesome. Yeah. I hope, uh, if I can't make it down there, I hope I get to see something online or something, maybe. We're going to have all the outlets. We're going to bring YouTube down. We're going to invite Instagram yeah, yeah. Just, invite them yeah. all. We're invite, invite X. <laughs> the, the new one there. This, the new one? The new social media. It's called X? X. It's really Twitter. They changed the name. They changed it to X. Yeah. Is this an Elon Musk doing? <laughs> yes. That's wonderful. It happened this week, I think. I don't know. What will he do next? <laughs> Who knows? Will he, will he start changing animal names, you think? I hope not. I hope he's not that one of those power weird. moguls billionaires they have no better time on their hands um so new music alliance coming up in just about 12 minutes from now do you want to play a quick quick game i like to play games absolutely it's it's an easy game and it's called lyrical ponderings it's basically i have a list of songs that are actually in the form of a question and I'm going to give you a song title in the form of a question and you can either tell me who sang the song or you can tell me or you can answer the question. Oh, this will be fantastic. I'm so bad at songs that aren't my own. <laughs> All right, no problem. Pick a number between 1 and 201. 84. 84. Good number. Good year. Um, here we go. Did you ever have to make up your mind? Yes. <laughs> oh. You went straight to answering the question. Good. <laughs> I, I didn't know the answer. Do you know? Do you, do you know? No idea. That, that was the Loving Spoonful in 1966. <laughs> I'll just go with yes. Yes. I have had to make up my mind. <laughs> That's a good way to answer. The Loving Spoonful? The loving Is that the spoonful. band or? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. They had a couple hits back in the 60s. I'm just bummed that I can't use that as my band name. <laughs> well, that would be funny. A lot of people wouldn't know. A lot of people wouldn't know. So um, let's do another song. Oh, is the game over? Yeah, the game's over. Oh man, I was bracing myself for more questions. No, that was okay. The, okay. That was the That's fine. epitome. The, uh, was <laughs> Great. Yeah, I'd love to play another song. Is that what you said? Another song? Yeah. Please. Okay. please. 
That's, sure. I want to hear music. Yeah, um, I'd love to play uh, Weather, if that's all right. <gasps> I think I've heard of that song. You can get the acoustic version, here and only here. Oh, yes, please. Can, can you ever see yourself like uh, playing at Newport Folk Festival someday? Well, kind of, I don't know how to answer that. <laughs> um, it's a big venue. Yeah, I'll just you say yes. You get a lot of new fans, that's for sure. Yeah. Yeah, I'd love to. It seems hard to get into, so I don't see myself. Um, it hasn't ever been like, a, I'm not a folk head, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So it it's, hasn't that's, ever been a bucket list I think that's festival. the big misnomer these days because... Um, there's not a lot of folk at the folk festival. Great. <laughs> there really isn't. Um, like all the festivals. And the Green River Festival, um, I don't know if you've heard of that. That's more near you. That's um, just a, such a, a wide variety of artists these days. Uh, a lot of world music. Um, there was At Newport Folk, there, there was a couple of bands from Africa. It was, they were doing uh, Afropop. So it's, it's definitely not just folk anymore. That's great. Good for them. <laughs> I, would just, I, I could definitely see you there, though. Oh, you can see me there. See, I can that's see what you matters. there. I would love to see you there. Thank you. I would love to be indoors at a show there. I do not want to play outside. It's hot. And yeah. I will not play outside. They would have to pay me a lot of money. Yeah, and they don't 500000 they, they don't pay much. That's my bottom. It's mostly people go there because it's... They know they're going to get a lot of recognition. So that's why I hesitated to answer yes. <laughs> Anyways, this song's called Weather.
green ribbons washing the floor of my room for 9 a.m. Ooh, I can feel you again, holding the pieces together to give and let go in the end. Holding the pieces together to give and let go in. Molly Pardon right here at WECS. That was weather. Stick around. It's going to be played again in the next hour. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. Thank you very much. Uh, Stay tuned. In just a couple of minutes, uh, we've got the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. And uh, I did the playlist featuring uh, myself and Violet Huss or featuring original local music from western new england and that includes where molly lives now i technically should have been playing something from your new album maybe is it too late it's too late yeah because we've only got a couple of minutes left and then (laughs) it's going to be get played (laughs) i'm going to definitely get you on another playlist um we'll do a song from the new album uh, thank you for coming down. Um, any parting words? Drink lots of water. Yes. Hydrate. Stay hydrated, folks. Thank you, Molly. Uh, you've got a new album coming out in October, and you're going on tour, and you're going to be in New York and Boston if anybody in this area wants to uh, go see you perform live. And after this big, big tour, you're going to go play a lot of the local area? No, after this after this Molly Pardon tour, I will be on the road with Darling Side as their bassist oh, for cool. the rest of the year. Oh, excellent. Yeah, we have about 30 or 32 shows. So we, we can still see you. All over the country. You. We'll still see you eventually. I hope so. Come out to a show. Absolutely. I love Darling Side. Me too. Um, thank you, Molly. You're it's welcome. It's been a pleasure. And stay tuned. We'll be back with the New Music Alliance Radio Hour right here on this station, WECS Willimantic, a community service of Eastern Connecticut State University. Hi, this is Paul and Diane with Acoustical, one-of-a-kind live music in Bristol, Connecticut. And you're listening to Something Different with Mark E. Ramon. But it's cool. Hi, I'm Molly Pardon. I love coffee. You're listening to Something Different with Mark E. Ramone.